morning show. All right, y'all. Rick's Mile the Morning Show. It's Wellness Wednesday, and we got the one and only Dr. MJ Collier joining us this morning. Uh, Dr. Collier, how you feeling, man? Happy to have you. Thank you so much, Rick Smiley. I appreciate the opportunity to bring health care information to the listeners of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Good morning, Ricky. Rock T, Special K, Gary with the T, the Brett, and Maria Moore. Ricky, so glad to be here today. Happy to have you, uh, Dr. Collier. And uh, 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 your sister, as your sister celebrate uh, 117 years, Founders Day, a.k.a. you know you're a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. Uh, Dr. Carly, I know you got a lot. You texted me this morning. You was talking about um, some stuff that we was talking about uh, with the, not the Ozempic. What, what do you call it, Gary, with the uh, Manjaro? Manjaro. Yes. What were you going to say about that? Okay, thank you, Ricky, so much. And shout out again to the AKA Sam Pink and Apple Green, my sister's Happy Founders Day. Ricky, it's the new year, and the number one resolution is, again, weight loss. People plan to lose weight, and this is literally the best time for weight loss with all the options that are available. So I was listening to the discussion this morning, particularly with Gary, uh, fussing about people using Manjaro to lose weight. But these are very effective medications. So this class of drug is referred to as the GLP-1 injections. That's glucagon-like peptide, one injection. That's Ozempic slash Wegovy, which is semaglutide, Manjaro slash Zepbound, which is terzepatide. There's also an oral version of semaglutide called Rebelsis. The other ones are the injections. Ricky, these medications were originally used to treat diabetes, but once the weight loss realized, the use of these medications has skyrocketed, and a substantial amount of the population in the United States and around the world are using these medications because they are so effective. So how do they work? These drugs mimic a hormone that helps control blood sugar, suppresses appetite, and slows down the GI tract, so gastric slowing. So unlike most every other weight loss plan that requires you to limit your calories and embrace being hungry, which is the rate-limiting step, people don't like feeling hungry, it's it's an overwhelming feeling, this is not a problem with these medications. So the weight loss can be 5 to 15% of total body weight loss is what they promise you. But there are many cases of people who have lost over 100 pounds. But in addition to losing fat, there's the potential for muscle weight loss. I wanted Maria to talk about how important it is to incorporate exercise into any weight loss program. Oh, yeah, not just exercise, but, you know, mainly strength training. I actually had a client who was overweight and did strength training with her. She had a 30-minute session. I did 20 minutes of strength training and just about 8 to 10 minutes of cardio at the end because, you know, your muscles is what gives you curves and muscles are metabolically active. So you really need to build muscle. And also, Dr. Collier, you know, if for people who are doing semaglutide just for weight loss, when you get off of it, your appetite is going to come back. So you have to work on your habits and also create a routine in the gym as well. That's absolutely correct, Maria, and uh, thank you so much for making that contribution. Products also, such as my Lipodrops Maxima Forma, can optimize the metabolism of your fat cells and minimize the loss of your muscle mass. So this treatment option has matured now. We are learning a lot about it. So in my weight loss clinic, we use these injections as well as all of the Lipodrop product lines. And what we have found is that, you know, when you lose weight, fat cells, they just shrink. They don't disappear. So they're always there waiting to, to, to re-up, so to speak, particularly if you come off the medications and you start to gain weight again. And that, as you say, that's the outcome in a lot of situations. Now, rarely do people gain back the full amount that they've lost versus any other diet where people lose 20 pounds and they gain back 30 pounds, and so they end up gaining weight. But with these products, what? we have some some yeah some great benefits. But with these products, uh, again, now we're maturing. Some people have to stay on a lower dose. Some people have to stay on the continuous dosing. Some people can come off of it and still maintain their weight loss because your stomach shrinks and, you know, you can, you will eat less without question. All you have to do is embrace the sense of fullness. So if you feel full, then you stop eating and you, because eventually you'll start eating more and more if you don't embrace it and you go back to having appetizers, a full course meal, and then dessert, uh, you know, because – Oftentimes, people, they've lost the weight now. Their social life improves. They're dating. So they're going out and they're eating more. And so they will gain the weight back uh, very quickly if they don't stay on top of it. But, again, I found that supplementing uh, these injectables with products like the Lipodrops Max and my Lipo Nights helps optimize your weight loss and keeps the weight off of you because you need to maintain a good diet plan that includes enough protein to maintain your, your muscle mass as well as to keep your appetite under control. Yeah, I, Dr. Cardi, I took two of those uh 
lipo night at nighttime, which you just mentioned uh, last yeah. night, and slept well through the night to help you sleep. And it does burn fat while you sleep. A- absolutely. So lipolytic products are very important when you're, when you're losing weight as a part of your, your weight loss program. Otherwise, you'll lose the weight, you'll have a lot of loose skin, and you'll look good with your clothes on. But once you take your clothes off, you won't be so desirable. So it's important Ooh. that, uh, again, that you have, you optimize, you know, your physical health, not just decrease the numbers on the scale. Not, not the guy that get naked and look like a damp Kroger bag. <laughs> Daddy call that you know them little cones that, that, that girls use to pin their hair back. When yeah. they lost weight and their skin be hanging, all you need is about five of them and put their skin back, put them on their back. They'll start be looking looking good when they come in the bed. But old school back. clothes pins. Yeah, but, but you can't, yeah, old you can't school touch pins. You can't touch them cones because they pop out. You know. Let's go uh, let's go to the phone. Eight six six nine, Ricky, eight six six nine R I C K E Y. Good morning. Good morning. My question is, is there any way to shrink fibroids without surgery? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, there's a, a minimally invasive procedure called uterine fibroid embolization. And what they do is they stick a catheter into the artery in your in your uh, lower abdomen, and they thread it to the fibroid site. And they inject some, some beads in there that cuts off the blood supply. So the fibroids will literally melt. That is a minimally invasive procedure. doesn't require any substantial or significant recovery time, and it fixes the problem. The, the problem is you can't use it on all fibroids, but they'll do a, a screening test on you to evaluate the types of fibroids. It depends on the location, the size, and the number of fibroids. And then you can get great benefit from that. That process is not performed by OBGYNs. It's performed by interventional radiologists. And there was a, a one that started a program here in Atlanta called Dr. John Lippman called the White Pants Initiative so that women who had fibroids and had heavy bleeding and stuff would feel comfortable wearing lighter clothes because without fear of, of breakthrough bleeding. So great process, uh, uterine fibroid embolization, UFE. All right, John, without the call you, good morning. My question is, how do I calculate how well my immune system is doing? Uh, there's no way to calculate it other than getting um, uh, routine blood testing and checking your white blood cell level. Uh, but the, the importance is it doesn't matter how good it's doing, you want to optimize it. To optimize it, supplements like our lipoimmune and uh, vitamin D at a therapeutic dose of 5,000 international units. I, I can't tell you people that are now taking vitamin D, but they're not taking the right amount. And so I explain to them, I say taking 1,000 milligrams or 1,000 international units is not going to help optimize your immune function, you need to take at least 2,000, but 5,000 is the optimal dose. It doesn't matter what your starting level is, it's safe to start taking the vitamin D immediately. So to do that, to optimize your immune function. All right, Dr. Collier, let everybody know how you can be reached. Ricky, I can be reached on all social media. First, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, ASKDRMJ. Look for videos on various healthcare topics. Don't Go to the official website, lipodrops.com, where you'll find information on various supplements to optimize your immune and health status. Get the Lipodrops Maximum Strength Formulation to optimize fat loss and decrease muscle mass loss. And remember, these are the opinions of Dr. MJ Collier, not those of Ricky Smiley, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show cast, or its production crew. Stick stay. Don't you dare go away. You're listening to Dr. MJ, Ricky Smiley, and Maria Moore on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.